Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Cho C. Today I would like to do a very fun review with these weapons here. The first one is the scary beastly sword, the Atlantean sword. Uh, this is a uh, movie replica, not a prop, but a replica, and uh, it's made of high carbon steel. Uh, 1075 carbon steel and you can see the blade here have some etching very nicely done even etching and the blade is uh, not sharpened but it it have a, a semi sharpened edge now flipping it to the other side going back And you can see the uh, handle is wrapped, very rough. It's uh, very tight, it's not loose, and you cannot turn it or anything. The pommel here is actually very heavy, and uh, you cannot move it as well. It's very secured. Okay, so this sword here is quite crazy, because usually a um, normal sword rates about uh, let's say like two pounds to three pounds something like that guess how heavy this sword is now let's take a look at how I swing it first like that like that okay. wow it looks like not so heavy right let's take a look It weighs just a little bit over eight pound. <laughs> it's an eight pound sword. Very scary heavy. And the point of balance, it's about here. Let's see, it's about two two inch from hilt. Wow. You see, the sword here it's a semi. Not sharpen but semi uh, edge, like you can really just do a little bit of sharpening and it can cut already. Now let me test the edge out, okay, of a, on a piece of paper. It can open the paper, cut open the paper, semi edge, not really sharp but it's okay sharp. Now the reason why I like this sword Okay, um, exclude the movie stuff because I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> but I only like the sword because uh, it's a very heavy, beasty sword. And actually it's very good for training because if you um, observe the guard here. Let's take a look at the guard. Okay. You see the guard? Here is very round. If you hold it here by the handle or here by the guard, it's very comfortable in hand and you can actually do a lot of uh, small movement of it like this see it doesn't it doesn't take uh, this, like it doesn't really feel that the guard is blocking the movement and the whole sword is very comfortable it can be used as a, a single hand sword like so a single hand okay. as a training sword it's very good and you can use it as two-handed sword like that like that see two-handed sword and you can see that um, everything here is very secure and no rattling uh, no loosening up nothing it's very solid and comparing to one of my This is one of my, uh, the heavy type of the Chinese sword. It's a very uh, modified and heavy Chinese sword. Yeah. It weighs about four pounds. Compared to that, this thing feels very light to me right now. <laughs> okay. 
This is already kind of heavy for a normal sword. It's four pounds, and the point of balance is way out here, about three inch from guard. So, comparing this and this, you can now see the huge difference. Take a look close up. See? Wow. Big difference, right? Okay. Now, this is the, the male's, the masculine type of sword. And um, it's wide, thick, heavy, very masculine. And actually the sword itself feels very comfortable in hand and it's great for uh, forms training. And um, for people like me, okay, who, who like to uh, train martial arts and uh, stuff like that, you want one of these for power training. Why not, right? Exclude the movie stuff, okay, um, for any kind of sword, single hand or double hand sword play, it fit very well. And uh, for Kung Fu, it actually really do give you a nice feeling of some nice beastie sword form. Now aside from that, this is the Valerius sword. I have no idea if it's double edge or not, but it looks like a double edge uh, saber. Okay. Now taking a look at that close up. Very nice pommel, solid. Doesn't twist or turn or loosen up. Nice wood grip. A lot of uh, grain showing. And then a very solid uh, guard. Like that. And then we uh, move up. You see the sticker? Move up. Wow, I like that tip. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, flipping it over. See? Okay, now this sword is also semi-sharp. Let's take a piece of paper. It comes pretty dull, but with uh, two minutes of work, you can cut open the paper like that. Not bad, right? And, okay, don't uh, underestimate the sword. It's not really that feminine when you put it on the scale. Take a look. Just the blade alone weight four pounds. Four pounds. And the point of balance is about here. You see? Right here. That's like three inch and a half from the from the hilt. Very solid sword. You can use two hands to hold it, or you can use one hand to hold it. And it actually really, really gives you the feel of a Chinese uh, saber or broad sword. You can actually go block and strike. See, you turn from a one-handed grip to block, block, and then you turn into a two-handed chop and strike. You see? It's a very very cool weapon and compare this to a Chinese uh, broadsword or a saber this is the Qing Dynasty style uh, saber antique to buy me okay it weighs about two and a half pound high carbon steel you see I blew the whole steel the whole plate I blew it so it seems kind of black and it's sharp too, okay. So yeah, just to test this one out, you can see it's very sharp. It is sharpened. So comparing this and this, you can see the difference. It really looks alike. 
see? When you hold the two, it feels like you can use this or this and it feels very, very alike. Now, this sword here weighs four pounds, but it doesn't feel like overly heavy. For me, I really like to use this blade to replace um, the the Chinese uh, crappy broadsword because actually the blade itself is very sturdy and it's so thick, look at that, it's so thick that it provides a lot of sturdiness, weight, and uh, yeah, it feels very good in hand actually. You can uh, do these movements and you don't feel like the blade is dragging you. So overall, it's a very sturdy replica. And um, the blade itself is made of high common steel too, just like the, the other one. Just like this one. Oh, like that. Okay. It's just like this one, uh, made of high common steel. It can be sharpened for actual cutting. And if you uh, research online, I found that there are people who disassemble these swords and the tang here is actually very thick. And it's a thick tang that tapers down to a um, threaded uh, rod from here to here. So it will be secured by a nut and washer. And then the palm out is screwed on and pressed on. And then uh, ye proxy does something like that. So the sword itself is sturdy and uh, nice construction uh, with all the stuff there. And the only thing I want to complain is that here, right here, it's kind of pointy so it can scratch your hand if you hold too high. If you hold here like that, it's going to scratch your hand. So maybe the, in the future we'll have to mod this thing to round off the corners and it'll be perfect. So this is the nice saber looking sword and if um, if if I'm going to sharpen this blade, I'll only sharpen one edge and also further dull this edge so that I can use it for blocking like that without actually hurting my arm when the blade pressed onto the flesh. You see? Block. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's my little review of the two blades. And before I end, I would like to show you a little bit of techniques here with the blade. Now for this saber looking blade, okay, uh, a very famous and uh, common Chinese Kung Fu move is like that, okay? You hold the blade like that facing the opponent and then you block and then strike and then you go like that. That is a famous uh, move. And the move itself actually has some very practical usage. Now you hold the blade like so, okay, touching the blade, which gives the blade some support and not bounce toward you when people bang into the edge. And then, okay, the first thing you do is you block, by, with the edge you block, and also supporting the blade with the arm. And then when you block, you grab the other guys and strike. Like that. And then you cut, you cut, and round, like that. It's very practical because uh, it gives you a block, okay? you you grab or uh, move away the, the opponent's uh, pole arm or something like that, and then you step up and you slash. And then you go back, you back off while giving them a strike here like that so that's one famous movement for this now for this big sword okay I, I will introduce one movement with the double hand sword um, techniques the double hand sword technique you can hold it with two hands grip like that and facing the sword facing the opponent okay the first thing you do is you tilt up the tip, okay, tilt up the tip to uh, the upper right hand corner. Tip, and then you dip forward. See, this is to block with the back edge, 
you block away and then you strike. You block away and you strike. Or you can block with the front edge to the upper left corner. Block by turning the hand. Block and then use the back edge to cut down. Cut down and strike. Let's see that again everyone. Okay. Block the left. Block the left. And then cut down with the back edge. Cut down, turn and slash. That is one of the techniques how we can utilize both the front and the back edge. Now, these will be my uh, new training weapons or training tools. And uh, maybe in the future, I'll demonstrate more stuff with these things. <laughs> Amazing, right? Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.